guys, what's up? It's Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, the YouTube channel where folks over 40 go to learn to play the guitar with my easy to follow lessons because you're never too old to learn. And this is a one that you might need to grab a box of tissues for. Um, it's Drink a Beer by Luke Bryan. And if you've heard this one, uh, it's a tad uh, on the sad side and can bring up probably memories with folks who lost loved ones and folks that are close to them, which is kind of true for everyone. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a sad song, but it's a great one to play and got some cool stuff going on in it. So this is a uh, beginner lesson. So we're not going to cover the intro in this lesson. Um, you can uh, do fine with just kind of playing the chords through that part. And you're going to need to put a capo on your first fret to play along with the record. Let's go over the chords first. You've got a G chord. We're going to play that with four fingers. So you have your index finger here on the fifth string, second fret. Middle finger here on the sixth string, third fret. Your ring finger is going to be on the second string, third fret. And your pinky on the first string, third fret. And when I'm saying frets here, it's relative to the capo, so the capo becomes kind of like the nut of the guitar. So this is fret one, two, and three, four, and so on. You're gonna do a C add nine. This is a really cool little trick that happens a lot in music. So you have the G like this to get the C add nine. Just move your middle finger and index finger down one string each. So now your middle finger is playing the fifth string on the second fret. And your ring finger is playing the fourth string on the second, oh, I'm sorry, the fifth string on the third fret. And your index finger is playing the fourth string on the second fret. So you add nine chord. Good old D chord. Index finger on the third string, second fret. Middle finger, first string, second fret. And your ring finger here on the second string, third fret. Usually play the fourth string down on that chord. And an E minor 7, which, uh, as you can see, we're moving around from this G, the C add 9, the E minor 7 chord is an E minor chord, but you leave this ring finger and pinky finger down on that first and second string. So your index is going to be on the fifth string, second fret, and your middle finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. To keep those ring and pinkies down. And those are the chords you need for this one. I'll play it through a little bit so you can see what you're going for. And then I'll show you guys how to play it. That's the verse and chorus, and we'll talk about uh, the little bridge here in a little bit, too. So it starts out on a G chord. The intro is a G. A C add 9. The D. And a C add 9. And if you want to check out a lesson I've done on those chords, uh, why they're so common, and the easiest way to kind of play those um, in rhythm, you can check out that lesson by clicking the link above. Let's talk about the strum pattern here that's going to be used throughout the whole song. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. It's a mouthful. 
beautiful. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. I always tell folks to start out slow, so you want to learn it correctly and then worry about quickly later. C at nine, one pattern on each of these. And D, and C at nine. He's kind of changing that chord before each word in the uh, verse here. When I got the news today, I didn't know what to say. C at 9 D, so I just hung up the phone. C at 9. She took a walk to clear my head. C at 9. And this is where the walking led. D, you believe you're really gone. C at 9. You kind of feel, just kind of let that C add nine ring out. Feel like going home. And then the chorus. So I'm gonna G right here on the D of this pier. E minor. Watch the sunset. C add nine disappear. G. D and let that ring out. And drink a beer. Back to the intro. And you'll see that chord progression. C, I mean G, C, D, C. That pattern throughout this whole song. And then he kind of hangs on those C's at the end of each verse. He plays another C chord for one strum pattern. And then that's the chorus. And then um, the next verse, like I said, get the tissues out. The um, other part of this song is the bridge. So at the end of the second chorus, drink a beer. There's a C, then it's or the G. C add nine, and then the bridge part starts on the C add nine. So long. So it starts with the C add nine. So long, my D, to we E minor, D, C add nine. And the pattern goes throughout there, except on that E minor and that D, you can just do two down strums. C add nine, S then back to the verse. I mean the chorus. And right here, the edge of this pier, watch the sunset disappear. Yeah, yeah. Drink a beer. And the end of the song, he just alternates between the G and the C add nine. So there's a lot with that strum pattern. Kind of makes the song there. Remember to use that capo for that first on that first fret to play along with the record. So if you've learned this great country tune, want to check out another popular country song, you can click the link up above. Thanks for supporting me here on YouTube. Would love that you to subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already. And I'll see you guys for the next lesson. Keep on picking.